Anthony's defense team be allowed to conduct a second autopsy with their own forensic experts. Karen blogs us. I feel all needed measures should be taken when it comes to the autopsy and all forensic investigations. It's wonderful that nowadays, thanks to children's human rights work, the murder of a child is as heavily investigated as the murder of an adult. Let's keep it that way and perform all needed or even suggested professional investigations. That makes sense to me. In other words, what are we hurt? How are we hurt by the more knowledge we have? Never understood that. Joanne in Ontario, Canada writes, My word, enough is enough. Let that poor little girl rest in peace. All the defense cares about is letting their guilty client go free. Payback's a B, isn't it, Casey? See, Joanne, what you're doing there, what I don't like is, you're prejudging and you don't know the outcome of this. We are presumed innocents in the United States. Hope we can hold to that. And I don't know what happened in this case. Frankly, neither do you. Kelly and Tampa writes, these days it seems like a prospective parent should be psychologically tested before they're allowed to have their own children. I'll never understand how a parent or anyone could hurt, much less kill a child. I'll never understand it. Uh, by the way, in, in the case of this, I don't know who killed who. But as for the statement about killing a child, I absolutely agree. How anyone could kill a child is beyond belief.